We humans have a lot of aches and pains from the lifestyle we lead. Sitting for hours at a computer, poor posture, emotional tension, these can all lead to chronic pain and tightness in your muscles. Massage therapy often helps relieve this tension, but when I can't get in to see my massage therapist, I turn to the tennis ball against the wall technique. In a pinch, it really helps. Take a hint from Pinto and check out this video on how to use a tennis ball to address your tight muscles. Hi everybody, I'm Christina Hildebrandt. I'm a massage therapist in Longmont, Colorado, and I'm going to show you how to use a tennis ball to decrease your pain and increase your range of motion. So, um, everybody has spots on their bodies that really bother them during the day in between massage sessions. Uh, you can easily use a tennis ball to help decrease that pain. Most people have a little tweaky spot right there. It's a very human condition. So if you take that tennis ball and a nice uh, wall that is free of um, pictures and other things, you can, if you're flexible, you can put that ball right here between you and the wall. If you're not real flexible or that's tough for you, you can slide it like this until it's right where you want it to be. So for me, I want it to be right here, because that's my spot. Uh, the intensity of this exercise is dependent on how far away your feet are from the wall. If you want it to be really intense, <laughs> you're gonna be far away from the wall. If you want it to be Less, more manageable, then you stand pretty close to the wall. And as you're doing this exercise, please breathe because it helps your body deal with what you're doing, helps your nervous system stay uh, pretty calm, and you want your pain level to be more like a 3 than a 10. Because if you, if you override your nervous system and um, put too much stress on it, this will do more harm than good. So keep it around a three, and I'm going to lean against that tennis ball and roll up and down until I find a spot that speaks to me, and I continue to breathe. Right about there, there's a spot that actually has a trigger point in it, which means it refers pain to a different part of my body, and I can feel that right here on the clavicle. So I'm going to Lean into that spot a little bit. Ah, right there. Now I can just roll on it, or I can move my arm slowly so that I'm re-educating those muscles. I can move it forward, back, across my body. Any way you want, you're in charge. Whatever feels good. Only if it hurts good should it hurt. So continue to just roll it around and breathe until that spot feels like it's had enough. You don't want to overdo it because you can be really sore the next day. And then I just drop it down into my hand. So next we're going to look at the low back and the hip and the butt. Okay, so now we're going to work on other parts of the body that might be troubling you. A lot of people have tension in their low back. The tennis ball can work for the low back, but it's uh, because of the curve of the back, it tends to pop out and slide out from behind your body. So have your hand here, and you're going to have to bring your uh, legs in a kind of stable position so that <laughs> it's a little awkward. So uh, you need to be able to stand up without falling, and your ball needs to be here where you need it. You don't want to roll right on the spine because that hurts and it's not good for your spine, but you can roll on the muscles on the other side of the spine. I find this kind of intense. Um, I might use a foam roller instead, but I can still roll up and down. But I have my hand like this so that that ball does not go flying away. So same thing up here applies as it did for the shoulder, applies here. You roll up and down on it. You can find your trigger point area. You can't, it doesn't do any good to move your arm, but you can just breathe. 
let those tissues relax under the ball, and then it will go a little bit deeper. So that's the low back. If you want to work on the hip, where the femur, the leg bone, runs up and joins all these muscles that connect to it, you can certainly do that. It's pretty intense, so be gentle on yourself, keeping your pain level at about a three, and it still needs to feel good. So get your stance against the wall, put your ball where you think you need it, and roll around on it. Now this, as I said, is very intense for a lot of folks because these muscles, um, we sit on them all day. <laughs> and they can get pretty mad. So if you want to take your ball to the office and you're uh, not embarrassed to have your coworker see you do this, you can certainly do that. Roll around. You can get right up against the bone, but you know, stay away from on top of the bone. Basically, if it feels really bad, don't do it. I'm going to orient my body like this, so I can get closer to the bone. And I'm going to roll up and down. OK. So that's uh, the back of the body. Now, a lot of folks have problems in the front as well. The chest muscles are notorious for bringing you forward as you're sitting at your desk, for example. So using a tennis ball here can help loosen up those muscles so you can then stretch and open up this area. And I'm going to show that to you next. All right, so we've looked at using a tennis ball for the shoulders and the low back and the hips and the butt. And now we're going to look at the chest muscles because they get tight on a lot of people. You need a door frame. Why? Because um, you can fit on either side of it. So, uh, or a tree, if you have one growing in your yard, that's fine too. So place that tennis ball right up against where it's gonna meet your chest muscles. And of course you have a sternum bone right here. That's probably not so fun. Uh, you have a clavicle right here. You don't need to go up that high. There's this little kind of triangle right here that brings people forward in an uncomfortable position. We're going to loosen up those muscles. So place it against the muscles. you got to keep your hand here or it's going to go bing. <laughs> so find a stable spot. And normally I turn my head that way, but you can't hear me if I do that. So I'm going to anchor and be gentle because this can be really intense. Anchor, breathe, and I'm being very gentle with myself because I have a real spot here. And move your arm in any way where it seems like it's going to help those muscles to relax. Breathing is important. If you don't breathe, your whole body starts to tense. So now I'm going to roll onto the muscles closer to my arm, where it attaches there. And I will turn my head this time. If you rotate your hand, you'll incorporate um, different fibers. So try that. You can even bring it close to the wall. Ah, that feels really good. <laughs> so that's how you can use a simple tennis ball to decrease your pain and increase your range of motion. Remember, be gentle with yourself because it's not a no pain, no gain situation. In my next video, I'm going to show you a couple of simple stretches that I just use personally to keep my butt looser and my legs happy and my chest open.